this Parsha is Parshat Shmini, which means the eighth, sh from the word Shmona. And it talks about preparation of the Mishkan, the preparation of the Kohanim, uh, Aharon and his four sons getting, taking seven days to become priests. And then on the eighth day, Shmini is the service. And the Karbanot. Karbanot is usually um, translated as sacrifices, but we know it comes from the word karov, it, what's, what brings us closer to God. So there were Karbanot, and then Aaron's two, ch two sons, Nadav and Avihu, brought a, a strange fire or a seed of a fire that God didn't ask for, and they were consumed by God. Aaron was silent. And then we go into the laws of Kashrut. So um, if you were here last year for the Reb Zalman Shabbaton, you remember it was also Parshat Shmini. So I guess because when you're here, it's beyond beyond. <laughs> so, so you'll remember, I drashed about the word Shmini, Shmona, Shin, Mem, Nun, Shemen, the, the anointing oil, the shame, Iman, the, 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 the importance of words, Sham, Mean, there's the difference, all of that. And the word, and in number eight, which, the, which is beyond, beyond, because seven is the days of the week, the seven lowers the firat, seven is completion, eight is beyond. And we know when we put the eight on its side, it's infinity. So it, it hints at Mashiach time. But, but today, what I want to talk about is um, Vayidom Maharon. So um, just that... Vayidom is, is, is what Aharon was silent, but it also has a, a, the meaning of stillness. Silence and stillness, to mama. So we know that there are certain times when words are just not, not enough. When you, you know, when you lose a child, God forbid, words are not enough. Words are not enough. So, um, when we don't understand, when God is at God's most mysterious, sometimes we need to just be quiet and be silent and be still to understand or to grasp an understanding. And we know that yesterday in Israel for Yom HaZikaron, the entire country was not only silent but still for two minutes at 10 o'clock in the morning to remember the Chayalim, the, uh, the soldiers, in, uh, the fallen soldiers. So in Israel at 10 o'clock yesterday morning, everybody stopped what they were doing. Didn't matter if they were driving on the freeway at 55 miles an hour. Everything stopped, cars stop. People are still for two minutes remembering. So, and we also know that when we go into the house of mourning to comfort a mourner, we comfort with silence. We're instructed not to say a word to the mourner but to go in with silence and comfort in silence until the mourner is ready to speak. So we don't, um, we don't usually think of Jews in silence together. <laughs> we're, not, we're not typically known as silent people. We're pretty wordy. We, the Buddhists have vipassana and the monks take an oath of silence, but we don't usually think of ourselves as a people of silence, but we actually do have a very strong tradition of silence. So when Moshe got his revelations in the burning bush and up on Har Sinai, he was being silent. He was in the desert where he was up on the mountain for 40 days of silence. That's a big, big uh, component of silence. And um, the, uh, the, the uh, Rebbe Nachman Hasinim have a practice called Hitpodidut. We go out in the middle of the night in the dark in silence. And you hear, you hear what God is, is saying to you. And our central prayer is not go talk. It's what? Shema. Listen. Listen. Shh. Shema. Listen. And our scripture talks about silence. There in the Tehillim, in the Psalms, King David says, um, be still and know that I am. And l'cha dumiya tehila to use silence as praise. Even the word silence, dumiya, has God in it. And what does Eliyahu say in Malachim Aleph in, in the first book of Kings? God is not 
in the ruach, in the winds. God is not in the ra'ash, in the noise. God is not in the aish. Where is God? Called mama zaka, the still, silent voice. So when we have a silence practice and when we go into silence, then we can hear that wise, still, silent voice. So I'd like to take one minute, one minute, if you can just take some deep breaths and close your eyes, and I'll let you know when the minute's over, and connect with that kol tamamata ka, that wise inner voice, that inner voice of knowing, and see what you come up with. So nice deep breaths. Per. 